Hello and welcome to another modern stream, as opposed to yesterday when we had a legacy stream. It wasn't a bad legacy stream, but <laughs> but still, uh, we're back to modern. And what I wanted to try out today is the list that Matt Dilks took to a second place finish over this weekend. Um, in the event that is called the uh, Format Challenge Showcase. Showcase Challenge? Maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the list that uh, that Matt played. Um, it's basically close to what we were playing before um, with Once Upon a Time, except that we are going full on on Explorers, No Asian Steerings, and a couple of copies of Relic and Progenitus. I'm actually super, super interested in these cards because honestly, it seems kind of medium. But I guess that we're going to see it in action right now. Uh, we don't have any explosives in the main deck. Both of the explosives are, as you can see, in the sideboard. Um, and we have access to 31 lands and the Pact of Negation in the main deck. So um, also no uh, Stronghold Sun Home, but we're playing Battlements instead. Uh, I have been very vocal about not liking this, but we're going to see we're going to see how things work out anyway. And yeah, a couple of copies of Valakut. So we're trying to basically lean hard on the Dryad aspect of the deck. And we're trying to maximize on that. We're going to see how that works out without Once Upon a Time. But if I were to play a list that wanted to do that for whatever reason, then this is probably a very solid build to, to do that. Also, the sideboard is super clean, which I like. You know, three disputes, three dismembers, a couple of trackers. Rex Age, 3 Beasts Within, couple of Exclusives on the field. Uh, Bob, of course, uh, has a room in the main deck, same same as the Ghost Quarter. So we're going to see how this list works out. I'm a little bit interested in, in figuring that out. So, yeah. Not a Rosa Goose, thank you very much. But we're going to do... I'm going to look at Dilks. It's nice in this meta. Yeah, I guess it is nice, but it's just like, it, it's, it has always felt like such an underwhelming card for me. Still a modern streamer after the results yesterday. Yeah, yeah, still still a prime time, prime time caster at heart. It was nice to cast other six, uh, you know, six sixes. Uh, but yeah, now, now we're, cast, we're back to casting a one and only six six. The better. Six six. Um, no, uh, Dilks never liked Karn. So <laughs> this is now officially stuck. Yeah, right. That's how that's how that works. On the draw, yeah, this hand is perfect. You gotta love it when you have a, when you have hands that are strictly better on the draw than on the play. It's really funny. On the play, this hand is like super awkward, probably even unkeepable. Yet on the play, this is a snap keep. It's actually a turn three Titan. <laughs> oh, Vesuva, you're you're weird. You are weird. There we go. Back from his legacy finals this weekend. Yeah, it was it was nice. It was a nice event. I enjoyed it. I had fun. It's really funny because like literally all the all the magic that I had played, all the all the legacy that I had played prior to that event was exactly one day. <laughs> the day before the event. Oof, Pog Champ. So now we can dry it on two. That's probably good, actually. For us to dry it on two here. So I packed for Dryad. Up to four mana, I pay for my Pact. Yeah, because that means that, because I, I don't have can I try at next turn so I don't need to pay for back here? 
Um, next turn, I'm going to have access to seven mana if this scout doesn't die. So that means minus one should still be fine. I think we should be okay here. So there's no need for me to dry it right now and get blown out by something. Yeah, we should be good. Should be good. Uh, what force they played? Yes. It's uh, apparently Shards of Alara. That's, it's kind of a nice art. I like it. I like the perspective. It's not an ugly forest art. Like a lot of new frame ones. Like this is not a nice forest art. Like this just looks ugly. I don't know. I, I'm not feeling this one. Can you please make Titan 1.5 again and stop all the hate we're getting from all these other decks? Yeah. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. I want I want to go back to to you know flying under the radar. It was so nice when we got to fly under the radar. Good times. Yeah, Lorwin basics are are nice. Acid Moss incoming. If they have Acid Moss, we are very, very happy. They don't have a Titan, that's for sure. Karn the Great Creator. That's just not good enough. Unless they have Pine Needle. If they have Pine Needle for this scout, then they got me. But Cool Metal Coating is not going to do anything. I actually do like that art, so I'm going to copy it. Good battlements. Haste. Kill ya. <clears throat> Try to find what forest to get foil to go to my cold snap foil uh, snow cover forest. Okay. <laughs> Clean sideboarding, <laughs> easy. Uh, I guess we kind of want this member for opposing dryads, but I don't think I want four copies of this member. That seems like too many. Fab Guru is indeed. You having a having a tough time mistaken, This is a turn three Titan, a turn four Titan, sorry, on the draw. We can do better than this. It's unfortunately not better than this. I guess this is better than that. 
So we're just gonna bottom the Azusa because it doesn't do anything with this hand. Scout gives me turn three Titan, Azusa doesn't, so. And we wanna bottom the Visua so it's in our deck. Oh you're Vini? Oh okay. Oh that that that, make, that makes sense actually. <laughs> if mistaken is your is your moto username, right? All right, what's this? What you get from me, opponent? Um, I just realized that we lose to Cranial Extraction on three, right? Straight up lose to it. All right, give me that Titan. Just yesterday was brutal. Eh, it was fine. I don't. I'm not as upset about yesterday. Considering how little I had prepared for the event, I think I ran. I ran super, super hard. Honestly, I got super lucky. You can't really complain when you do. <laughs> when you end up in the finals of an event that you all your preparation for the event was one league. All right, no cranial extraction. Sweet, Titan. It's not a Titan. Still not a Titan. Still not a Titan. Is it better for me to hold the castle in hand? I think it is actually. Can have an extra Valaka trigger down the line. Final was amazing. That deck was already uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I had never seen that deck. I mean, I had seen that deck before, but like months ago, like a long, long time ago. And after like looking at the deck, I realized that there, like I, I made a lot, a lot of misplays there, which is fine. It, it's kind of expected when you're playing against a, a deck that you've not really seen. So we need to draw a Titan right here. Otherwise we're just gonna lose to this one. Probably gonna get field plus something. You got the mox invite? No, I got an invite to the legacy showcase. Finals, I think it is. What is it? I got this thing. Um, where is it? There. So it's a legacy championship. So now I can enter the legacy championship. And if I, oh, damn it, if I win the legacy championship, I, I I go into I go to the mocks. Hey Sam, how's it going? So yeah, that is that is how that event works. But I still need to want to win like this legacy championship, whatever. And I honestly think I'm just going to. Um, redeem this this set instead of opening it. Uh, okay, so this is back for a dryad, so we just died. Um, yeah, we were never getting there. Uh, I guess I'll play like explore better than this member. Time to crack 356 treasures. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Especially not after how badly I did the other way. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. What do you mean seven hundred and fifty bucks, Aaron? How did I win seven hundred and fifty bucks? Uh, so if we find the bounce land, we win, but we don't have access to steering, so we're not as likely to find the bounce land as we would otherwise be. I still think I keep this, but I'm not sold on this. 
A treasure a day keeps the doctor away. You sure that's how that works? Yes, I, I, I love your set centered certainty. Turn one, Stacy. Um, I don't think my opponent has anything here to, to stop me. Maybe they have push or something, but like I would be surprised if that's okay. Bounce land. Not it. So just gonna play the amulet and pass the turn. Of course, I cannot play the Valakut here, obviously. Oh, crack open the chest is a good reward, actually. I hadn't thought about that. Bounce land, please. Sad face. Um, Sakura mirror match. I think I'm going to spend this turn to to play Dryad. Again, if we draw a bounce land, we're gonna win, and if we don't, at least we can peace within one of the lands. No, I mean, you have to understand that I'm losing money every time I'm opening a chest, right? So I actively don't want to be losing money. <laughs> so 10 chests for 8K seems like way too much. Like, I would do, like, five chests for 10k, and that, that still seems generous. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm literally losing money every time I open a chest. Like, we, we just saw it on stream that one time, right? So, I, I don't want to open chests. It's way higher EV for me to, for me to not open them. Abrupt decay my amulet? That really sucks, actually. <laughs> I wanted that one. Still not drawing land, so we're probably just gonna die here. 31 lands, no big deal. Very annoying. This is very, very annoying. I wonder if something like Ancient Asterix actually does, uh, like the lack of Ancient Asterix, I mean, actually does change the way that we should approach Mulligan in. <laughs> More Primeval Titans, sure, sure. Just F6. One time I told you open one, I open a mox. Yes, but even even if I open a mox, like the mox is, the mox in are pretty cheap on Magic Online. They're not that very good. So this is probably game. Yeah, this is probably game. Yeah, we just spent seven million turns. We don't join a Titan, and now they're gonna name Titans, and we they get a two for one at least. And now we have to naturally draw it to three lands before this Valor could even becomes active. So like we just cannot win anymore. <clears throat> Unless we draw, no, yeah, yeah, we can't. We can't even attack through this beast. Like my opponent's gonna be taking two a turn. That's just not enough. Yeah, we just needed to draw anything. It was maybe like we just cannot keep that kind of hand anymore. When where we're not drawing ancient, where we're not drawing towards ancient steerings. Like if you need a bounce land, we have access to like eight bounce lands, and that's it. That's just like too little. So maybe it's just a matter of we need to change the way that we think about this kind of hands. And with a list built like this, you probably just cannot afford to keep a hand like the one that I kept. Yeah, like what, what am I even drawing towards here, right? Like I, I don't have Titans to cast anymore. This is too late. I, I will concede whenever my opponent uh, casts a Primeval Titan. I 
Hey, Sierra Plus 707. Welcome. All is good so far. Just never saw a land in a million draw steps, but. Yeah, we can't beat that guy. All right, feels bad to lose to an overall good matchup, but c'est la vie. C'est la vie. Um, okay, it's science this hand. I just, I just want to science this hand, you know? Turn one fountain, turn two castle. And we just have to draw a titan eventually. Only bad problem is that we have hunger batteries in hand. Alright. So... Should we scout here? I think we actually should scout. Next, next turn, the Explorer is effectively free. And we should have Titan mana. The problem is we cannot garrison, so that's annoying. Oh, they're on Etron. Shit, that sucks. If they have this plus this member, then yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of Explorer being free. Um, so we're gonna do this and I'm going to Magus thank you for the raid welcome everybody for Magus stream uh, I want to have the blue mana floating here we're testing out uh, Dilk's list from this past weekend so so far round one we just didn't find anything for many many turns so it sucked a little bit but now we're doing round two when we're getting paired against the Drassitron and we still don't find anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I was floating mana there in case we drew it to Larry West, which can potentially set us up. That's a great one. I see a heart. Torben Fodge with a Twitch from sub. Welcome back to the Prime Time Strength for the second month in a row. I appreciate it, Torben. Slid looks really weird compared to the current colorless. Seems a lot weaker. Uh, I don't know. I'm honestly not sure. Um, it's definitely not looking impressive right now for obvious reasons, but like we are kind of one Titan away from just winning as is. The problem is that, yeah. Um, so what I was gonna say is the problem here is the fact that even if we do draw a Titan, our Titan cannot even deal that much damage because we don't have a dry, right? And this is the part, this is the, why I really dislike Hangware Battlements. Like our Titan is just a 6-6 six, six Trample Haste, double Demonic Tutor, instead of being an I kill you button, right? I mean, it's not bad, it's still pretty good, but like, it would be a lot better if we could just kill my opponent straight up, you know? It's pronounced ASCII, okay, good to know. Instant Raven Bridge, all right. So we just need to do a Dryad here, but our time is running out very, very quickly here. Chalice on one, yeah. My opponent seems to not be familiar with the matchup because, like, I really don't give a fuck about that. Chalice. So we can attack that card for two. Pretty bad, honestly. So I guess this doesn't really matter anymore, so I kind of want to protect the Valakut. 
So I'm just gonna play this and just hold the Valkyrie in my hand in case I draw a Dryad. Yeah, this should be on zero. There's literally no reason to play this on one. I miss once upon a time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Once upon a time was a good time. Once upon a time was a good time. So much respect the list. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Matt. I can just not like his list. Like, I, I don't see the problem with that. Yeah, my opponent is just very unfamiliar, unfamiliar with the matchup here. Like, if, if they minus for like a walking ballista to kill this, then yeah, they, they just don't know what the matchup really is about. This list seems terrible. I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, they, they don't know what the matchup is about. Like, at this point, the Titan isn't doing anything, right? I guess that it is doing anything because they misplayed and they they put a Chalice on one for no reason. Jeez, <laughs> just drawing nothing but air. Opponents making some questionable plays. Too smart people disagree is allowed, right? The looks yeah, I mean it's it's just different play patterns and I guess different experiences. Just because we're playing the same deck doesn't mean that we play it the same way, especially a deck like Amulet. Especially in a deck like Amulet, which is like so like insanely customizable and stuff. Like it's not unlikely for It's not likely for us to find like something that it's not. So I'm basically playing this out. So if my opponent has a um, like a knowledge dust, they're incentivized to use it. Like I don't care about this premium. This this guy is just not doing anything, unfortunately. I'm just protecting it from a thought knot. Oh, nice. No blocks. This kind of sucks. <clears throat> I have numbers here, but they're probably changeable. This game shows my kind of luck. I draw my garrison and my sand home so much, makes me crazy. Except garrison and sand home would be amazing right now, right? It would allow me to clock this Ugin. Well, hand developments doesn't do anything. That's that is my entire point. Like that's that's why I like those cards as opposed to this one. So this is like both of these matches have kind of proven, I guess games not matches have proven my point about why I don't like this card. I mean, if we draw a dryad, we're actually need. Probably lethal, so that's cool. <laughs> Although at this point, my opponent, my opponent probably has a dismember. Like they just have to have a dismember. They are better draws, and they turn your titan into a lethal threat. Which right now we just had a six six, which doesn't do enough. Uh, so here I think I'm going to end step flashing this Valakut since we have since we have a second one. That way we can at least uh, we can at least guarantee to 12 damage from this Valakut, which is enough to kill this TKS and this Ugin. All right, finally. That sucks, but Celavi, we have to use a land drop here, unfortunately. So we're gonna just mute. Someone respect. Feels good to pact with a dryden with a chalice in play. 
So Vala could, I guess we, we, we make a try at going face. If they have this member, this is obviously not going to work. We should have never won this game. I have no idea how we <laughs> how we got there. Like if this trigger resolves, we're just good. Yeah, I mean it's it's understandable, right? Like it's not the most straightforward matchup. It's not the most obvious matchup, so my opponent just like must not be familiar with with amulets and they don't know what this matchup is about. So they made some plays. Like if they had gone for if they had a second card, they should have 100 percent gone for liquid metal coating. But they went for Sterner Bridge instead and then they went for Torpor Orb, which like didn't do anything really. I guess it slowed me down from my Titan, but like if you had a Chalice on Zero, then like you don't even care about the Titan to begin with, because like I have to naturally draw the Dryad anyway. So at that point the Torpor Orb is just not doing anything. So my opponent made a lot of plays that just didn't really work out. Um, but it's just, I mean, it's just infam unfamiliarity with the matchup. Which is fine, I mean, it's it's understandable. If you're not, if you haven't played the, the matchup a bunch. It's not an obvious matchup the way it plays out. Remember this happened to me at FNM, opponent played a ballista in four and let me attack with Dryad and died. They didn't realize how Dryad would murder. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not blatantly obvious, you know? It's blatantly ob obvious how bad these this hunts are, however. Stands are oh, heinous. Um, Citron to Dryad, I guess. Is that even good, though? Pony kept seven. I guess we get this, because we can't really go lower. And I think I just bought them both scouts. Maybe we just need lands. But if, a, if my opponent's gonna play Chalice and one, then I don't want to have scouts. Yeah, them on evading my amulet just made no sense. I don't really understand what that was about, really. Okay, so we're gonna play tapped reading pool. Just gonna hope that we don't get thought knotted. If we get thought knotted, we're kind of just losing right then and there. There's nothing we can do. Okay, that's not thought, not mana. That is matter reshaper mana, however. Man, you get a love. Get a love. <laughs> get a love, this stupid deck. Right, now they have Tron. Mother Shaper is such a bad card. It's not... I don't know. It has matchups where it's actually pretty solid, I guess. Like against John and stuff, it's it's a fine card. They just pass. Okay. So I guess I just don't tap here. So I'm considering pacting for a Titan, spending this turn to pay for my pact, and then next turn we can. we can cast the titan but if i draw a castle it's it's so much better for me to not back here and also oof, oh wow rewarded rewarded i wasn't even considering drawing tracker i was considering drawing castle but yeah this is another great reason to <laughs> to do this that's awesome all right my opponent has officially a shit ton of mana what are they gonna do with it? Is it worth 6 into thought? Well, that's the point, right? Like, I cannot 
if my opponent does have a Thought Knot, which they didn't, otherwise they would have cast it already. Um, but, like, it's, it's, it is just, we cannot play around a Thought Knot. That's just not a thing that we can do. So, like, this plays around Thought Knot better because it leaves uh, Titan in the deck for me to draw towards. Uh, but it plays around Chalice a little bit worse because of obvious reasons. Like... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Um... Well, we're not going to be able to haste. Just going to pack for a Titan. And cast my Titan. So we just still are always in Civic Growth Chamber here, I think. We're going to be paying for pack next turn. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to have to use one, two, three. I think we just bounce the Simic here. Because we have a Susa in hand. So next turn we can pay for Pact, cast a Susa, make Sambos. Take it from there. There's recent rest to the plates. It's how you win games. You don't lose against decks like Death Shadow and John. Exactly. Just like getting that two for one is just nice, you know. This is massive ballista. Emrakul, the promised end. Well, this actually wins the game because uh, they can just choose to not pay for my pack. So, all right, wasn't expecting that one for sure. I don't think that matters. I think the sideboarding plan is fine. And I guess knowing about that, that's yet another reason to consider. Yet another reason to consider. Um, packing. I, I was not expecting number cool to promise then. It's probably fine. Like we, even if we didn't have the pay, they packed. Maybe we're just losing to that number cool just the same. But still, what do I think about the name Mesa deck in modern? I think I think it's very very good. But it's one of those decks that if you wanted to hate, you actually can, and it's not too hard to do. Which is good. Like it's it's definitely like that is like the definition of a good good deck to have in modern, you know? If you're gonna have a really good deck, you want that kind of deck to be to be good, you know? The decks that are easily hateable. Right, tap land would be okay. That's an untap land, which is also fine. So we're gonna do Dryad here, and I think we're just gonna play the Foothills. Maybe they have a second dismember. Doesn't matter, we're tightening next turn anyway. That's not a thought, not here. So this game is over. Thoughts on Astral Living Legacy Modern? It's probably gonna have to eventually go in Legacy, but it's a fine, I think it's a fine card in Modern. It's a fine card in, in the worst possible way, though, which is the annoying thing. Um, in terms of, it's I, I always compare Astrolabe to three mana the fairy, in that it's just a card that um, it's in the worst place in terms of power level because you um, like it's never gonna get banned probably, but it's so innocuously powerful. Uh, that is just really, really annoying. Um, so here we could double Valakut, we could triple Valakut. That would be lethal. So I don't even know what I'm thinking here. There. Yeah, I, I, I was talking and I, I wasn't able to think, <laughs> to do the math and talk at the same time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second to realize they actually had lethal. I, I guess we had lethal different ways there. Uh, yeah, this is a awkward keep, but it's a keep. It's a turn four Titan, but we draw it on three. So, and if we draw an amulet, 
then we're actually in a really, really, really good spot. Even if we don't run amulet, we're still in an okay spot. And tap source is not so good because it doesn't really speed up. It, it gets me one card deeper, which is good, but it doesn't really speed me up, so. Um, it allows me to play around removal, however. Hmm. What do we do here? So what we can do is we can Stacy plus land. Option number one. That's the highest reward, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the better line. It doesn't get me closer to... It doesn't draw me one card here, but like the, the, the upside is just higher. So I guess it's probably the correct line. It's definitely close. It's definitely close. All right, good luck, Sam. See you later. Lightning bolt. Oh wait, is this is this the red green deck? So oh, it is totally the red green deck. Shit. Um Well, I guess we're gonna get pillaged. Ha! Gotcha, scavenger news. So we're gonna get pillaged here, but the, I mean I guess that's not terrible. Magus would be devastating though. Yep, there we go. We couldn't have played around there, I guess. I mean, the only way we could have done it is if we held up, if held up the ghost quarter, which was probably the line, honestly. All right, we need a basic. Now, if they if they fetched for stomping ground and bolted, I wouldn't put them on John really, unless they immediately play the black source. Like John is primarily prim primarily sorry, a red and and black deck. It, it, uh, yeah, red and black deck right now, and then a green deck. Okay, so at this point we can't win anymore, so we can probably just back it in. We cannot beat both of this. Okay, so we want Beast Withins, obviously, we don't want this, we don't want this, we want dismembers also, we want trackers, and I guess that we know that my opponent is playing a version of Ponza with main deck Blood Moon, which seems really bad, but... That's what they're doing. We probably want field. Caverns can go, one pack can go. Let's try that. Hey Jose, how's it going? Did you get first or second yesterday? I had to leave during the final match. I got second. I lost in the finals. Not a keepable hand? Yes, a keepable hand. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to keep this. And I guess we bought on the battlements. It allows me to turn to explore, though. I th uh, yeah, I think we have... Hmm. Yeah, I think we bought up the battlements. If you're able to play Dryad after Magus of the Moon, you get Rainbow Lands. Yeah, yeah, but at that point, I need to draw the Dryad because I, I can't really pack for it, right? Because if my opponent kills it, then I'm dead. And. Mm hmm. Okay, 
Uh, and, and I also, I'm also missing the basic force at that point, right? That is kind of like the bigger, the bigger problem. Okay, now we have this member and B within for next turn. My opponent has a bolt in hand. So because I have the dismember, I think I'm trying, if I don't draw anything good here, I'm probably just going to beast within this. Yeah, so I have to upkeep beast within the stomping ground. So that means that my, unless they're playing Magus of the Moon or something, they cannot blood with me, which is the thing that I can't beat. Been having a lot of success not playing Karn. I was, and I'm one of the biggest fans of the Wish War, but I just takes too many slots. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't want to play Karn, just don't play Karn. Also. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Back on Handware, no. I am playing Dick's Dilk's uh, list without making any changes. But we see, we see how, why I don't like Handware Battlements, right? Like right now, my, if my opponent has a lightning bolt, I'm trading with them. And if they, they if they have this member, this is like the absolute blowout. Wow. Okay. So they conceded because apparently they had a shit hand. But like this is a really weak primeval titan. Like it's just gonna attack for six, and like I guess get a allow me to transmit or something. But if my opponent has a blood moon, I just they kind of lose, right? <laughs> so it's it's it it doesn't hit hard. He just hits for six. <clears throat> I am known to whatever in most amulet I think. Yeah, me too. Me too, but this list, I don't know. I'm I'm not into it. I'm kind of no into it, not into it. Did I get second? Yes, I lost in the finals. All right, so definitely gonna play Breeding Pool here, play around. Um, oh, that's a lot better. Okay, so this guarantees that this is my second green source. We can get pillaged, which would suck a little bit. But it's kind of whatever. Gonna bolt here. All right, sweet. Mm hmm. It's pretty sexy. So explore, and we're going to probably play the breeding pool here. Uh, actually, do I play the? I don't think I do that actually. Huh, this is really interesting. So what happens if I play Castle, they play a Magus or a Blood Moon. I don't think I dismember this, like that, that, that part is clear. I think we just chill. What, what, is, what if they have Glorybringer though? How many glory ringers hit can I take before it becomes a problem? I could also play the tap to Luria West. I can probably take one glory ringer hit and it's fine, but the second one, it, at, at that point, I have to dismember it. I think I'm gonna. Play a tap T West here. I'm probably not gonna play this cruel turf unless my opponent forces me by destroying one of my lands. Did you see that Dryad got a rat at? No, I didn't. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> nice upgrade opponent. Alright. Four mana three two haste. Yeah, it's a lot of mana, but 
right? They need to have exactly Blood Moon at this point. It needs to be exactly Blood Moon. Season Pyro is very good for them. That's a great card for them to have us as the last card in, in their hand. Just the casual two mana divination. Uh, two two divination, sorry. Pointing play limits the light to play rate a raid on health. Yeah. It was only an MP4 and it was an oversight from RD team. Oh really? That's really funny. To call the Dryad and not to have it be a Dryad. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. But, you know, not the stupidest thing that R&D has done. So I think here the move is going to be to just cast Titan and just feel plus Radiant Fountain. Get me the furthest away possible from dead. And then take it from there. Next turn we'll reassess. Although 2019 was an oversight from the R&D team, to be honest, yeah, for real. No bad matchups. Easy. Hashtag no bad matchups. To be fair, my opponent's draw was, were terrible. Like Both game one and two were just really bad, and game two, same thing. Let's let's see that actually. No, it still only says nymph. It doesn't say nymph dryad. So it hasn't been fixed in Magic Online yet. Tender should dryad. I don't even know what that card does. So you know it's a great meme. Okay, this one's the least horrible of all the hands. Uh, so we want to land and explore, I guess. So turn one, this. Turn two, castle. We take no damage and we're looking for bounce lands. Birds of Paradise. So this shouldn't be the Ponsa deck, right? Cavern of Souls? Okay. You get my attention, opponent. God. Cavern of Souls on God. Clothis or Heliod? Clothis. I'm right. I'm kind of perplexed here. So I think we're going to transmute for. Oh, what can we transmit for here? I mean, we're definitely transmuting just because we have the mana next turn. Pact of Negation? I can't pack this turn, however. So, like, Basic Forest? Are we just meeting for Basic Forest here? It feels so bad. It feels so, so bad. Feels awful to just be for basic forest here. Pact of negation and summon respect. So if I survive one turn, we can tighten with blue pact back up if I get a pact of negation right here. It is kind of sketch because I can't do anything this turn. I guess it has to be basic forest, which is horrible. That's so bad. <laughs> that is so, so bad. We just kind of have to play our Magus. So is my opponent just playing like a Ponza deck with Cavern? Yeah.
Is this the Adrasi deck? Oh, wow. I guess Summoner's Pack was the line. Whoops. We just lost the game, friends. I guess it actually makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Like, Cavern of Souls makes, makes a lot more sense. If we, if we find a bounce line, we're still one mana short of Titaning. Is Clothis good at this Ultrasi deck? I know Dombri is good. Dombri is certainly quite good. But this cloth is good. I guess I could have blood right here. Oof, this is disgusting. This is kind of lethal, right? So this is down to 15, and then this is five plus five, 10, 14, down to one, jeez, all right. So even a Titan doesn't save me here. All right. So if I had gone for Summoner's Pact, which was my initial my initial feeling, we would have won. Feels bad, man. Pact of Negation can come out, Relics. Reaping Paper is just mute for Basic Forest, never forget, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I didn't really think about the Red Green and Drassy deck, though I have, to be, I have been seeing it popping up a lot more lately. I have no idea why. <laughs> is that deck good now or something? We're going to be joining the modern last chance starting in two hours. No, I have a lesson to teach later today, so I won't be able to. Because that's that's a long event, right? It's like six or six rounds plus, I guess, plus top, plus top eight or something, I think. All right. So we, we skipped our draw step right there. And my opponent has turned to Thought Knot. Easy. I'm gonna play around that big sphere. By delaying my my girl's chamber. If they have second thought not, I bow to my opponent's prowess. But yeah, I mean again, this primeval titan is not lethal. <laughs> Honestly, this prime time is pretty shitty. Like it's going to attack for six and is not going to be able to defend me. So my opponent still has a free attack next turn. This is an awful primeval attack. Never mind. All right, now we win. So the line is Bielaxac. And just get there. You know? That seems to be the line. I'm happy that we found the line. I'm happy that we found the line.
But yeah, if I had not been a luck sack, this from middle time, I would have been super sad. And then if my opponent has the Eldrassi that steals your dude, I would have lost the game anyway. But fortunately, I'm very, very good at this game. So we got the win. But I mean, at least this league is definitely confirming that my suspicion that just like this card is just not good. Like we cannot build the deck this way anymore. That is what I'm feeling currently. I guess I like this better. <laughs> Wish I could be as pro as me, yeah. I guess I I subliminally believed in the heart of the cards and I somehow got there. Uh, are we gonna have enough time for this to work out? Mm. Mm. I don't like this hand, but it looks like a keep. So I'm keeping it, but I'm not happy about it. Never mind, hands great. Gonna go back to work. All right, thank you, Asim. Thanks for hanging out. You had a pretty good chance of drawing one of them? No, I really didn't. So you're saying I should lock in my modern league with both Carmulet. I mean, I'm, I like the Karn version better. Let's put it that way. Or maybe if you want to play this version, like try to feat. Wait. Wait. Hmm. Maybe we have a little Ghost Torino here? Maybe? This is a Smasher, swing for six. Kinda sucks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if we shock here to explore again, well, if this Titan resolves, we win. So I guess I just do this. That's a four bounce on your deck. What else should you name? Uh, naming a bounce land with this is just like, if you're bringing this in to name a bounce land, you are just failing to assess what matters in a matchup like this. Like if you're bringing in Alpine Moon against Amulet, is because you cannot beat either Field of the Dead or Valakut. Like that is the only reason. And I'm they played a land already, and this cannot cast Lightning Bolt, so I'm going to take this. Okay, so they don't even have this member. Okay. Like, if you're bringing this in to name a bounce line, you're just wasting a card. Because you, you saw exactly what happened, right? Like, I still was able to cast my Titan whenever I wanted to. Like, it didn't even delay me a turn. But it's kind of sketchy, you know? So... We can get Valakut Bounce Land probably, and we die to a Lightning Bolt. What if we do Valakut Radiant Fountain? That's just not good enough, right? They just stab with one Prime Time and with one Smash and they force me to jump. 
So we just need to get lucky that they don't draw bolt. And we have two land drops here. We have two land drops. So I'm thinking that I want to kill my opponent's entire board. If they have Eldrassi, the one that steals my dude, I probably lose. Because I don't have lethal. I'm going to have lethal next turn, but I don't have lethal right now. I guess I get a bunch of Sombos. So yeah, I think I'm going to kill here, kill here. Always yes, always yield. Oh, uh, we could have hasted, you're right. No, we couldn't have. Oh yes, we could have because we tried it. Yep, we had one untapped and yeah, I actually I actually fucked this up. Whoops. Well, I guess we died to Lightning Bolt and we beat everything else, basically. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't have. Obligator is not lethal. It's annoying, but not lethal. They steal my prime time. And I can block with enough to go down to one. We have a pack to pay for, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, so we can still dry out next turn. So basically, I, I can do one here, we kill the Obligator. We triple block here, and we double block here. And we go down to one. Triple block here, double block there, yeah. So Valaka is gonna kill here. So we're gonna win anyway, but I definitely almost punted this game away. One, two, three. One, two. So this way the Titan doesn't die and it comes back to us and then we kill them with it. Two, three, four. No, I definitely could have hasted and that was the mistake. That was very, very much the mistake there. Never punished, so it's good. Okay, so I'm actually kind of playing this version with Sunhome Stronghold, one value I could four explore and two series because I don't want to spend hundred bucks on Karn. It's been fine, couple of four ones. Nice, yeah. I mean, you don't need to play Karn. I just like Karn better and I have been having a lot of success with Karn lately. But yeah, Karn is very expensive and it's not necessary. I, again, I just like it better. If you were to add one or two fours to the sideboard, what would you cut and if you would at all? Uh, to this side, what do you mean? I would probably cut one of these mystical disputes and uh, like one of the beast within. I don't think I would want to add. The only thing that I could see adding to this deck is maybe a bait loss or an aurora or something like that. Something for the mono red matchup. This this list kind of doesn't respect the mono red matchup. 
And I, I am actually like pretty scared of the mono red matchup personally. Gunning from that for that eighty percent, yeah. Always. It's a way of life. Alright, on the play. Turn one amulet, turn two. Dryad into explorer if we want to, or just dryad. I guess it depends on what my opponent's playing. But it was the five. Okay. What did we lose to? Um, I forgot. <laughs> it was round one. I literally forgot. Oh, uh, Black Green Titan. Black Green Titan Field, that's what we lost to. Breeding Pool. Ugh. Probably Infect. Not what you want to see. Do I want to go ahead and explore here a bunch? Or do I just want to develop my mana and make land drops? I mean, I guess it's free next turn. Just the same as this turn. Yeah, I guess I'd rather just see one more card first. Womp womp. If we find a Valakut, we might be in it. <laughs> That's definitely a reason to hold on to these explorers. Definitely a reason to hold on to these explorers now. Titan? Okay. Titan? No. So I guess that we kind of have to play this. So we're going to play this first. Play the Relic. Cycle Relic. Titan. We have two more land drops. So I guess, yeah, it has to be a Titan. Titan is the only out that I have here. More lands doesn't give me anything. I guess I don't even want to attack. Hey, how's it going, Arkin? We're getting domed by Infect right now. Will there be one more league after this one? Uh, probably just one more, yeah. Yeah, this has been a pretty quick league. All right, they have the scale up. Do they have the rest? What decks did I meet on the showcase? Nice run, you were practicing on a stream with Uh No, I actually played one, only a single league, and I 5 0 with it, so I just said, I'll, I'll just play it. <laughs> and um, it just went very well. <laughs> but yeah, I played, uh, I made an entire playlist in my YouTube channel. I don't remember what I played against, but I can tell you from the playlist. So I played against Grixis Ursa round one, uh, Rock Delver round two, 
uh, Blue Green Omni Tail Round 3, Furcal Alone, that was Matt Book, uh, Mono Red Stompy, and Round 5, uh, Edgar on 5 Color Control, Round 6, Eldrassi Stompy, that was Goblin Lackey on Round 7, that was my, my loss in the Swiss. Then Mono Red, Mono Red Painter in Round 8, their quarterfinals was... Uh, Cephalid Breakfast, and I just I noticed that I wrote something wrong here, <laughs> but it was Cephalid Breakfast in the quarterfinals. That was actually kind of a funny game. Uh, expect game one was super hilarious. Uh, I recommend you check it out. No spoilers. Uh, semifinals was versus Stompy, and then the finals was against uh, the Mono Blue Aeons deck. So this card is unplayable, this card is unplayable, this is bad, this is bad. Explorers are pretty bad too. And this is what we got. Beast Within seems like a little bit too sketchy. Hashtag whitelisted, hashtag whitelisted. Hey, Royal A, how are you doing? I had to leave everything. Did I do anything with your deck? Uh, I didn't do anything with it, but I did do like the deck deck after you left, I think. Mystical Dispute Poggers. Is this enough? Like, do I just have the nuts? I think we do. No, we're, we're short, I think. So now this is five mana down to two. No, we actually do have it, sweet. This is gonna be five. Force of Vigor out of Infect. Respect. Respect. You don't really see Force of Vigor very, very often out of Infect. Usually a two for one is really, really hard for them to come back from. But I guess my opponent is next level. Fuck this matchup. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, that is the funniest thing, right? This isn't even a turn to kill, I don't think. No, because we would have ended up the turn with only a single land. We get two times, we couldn't, we couldn't trigger the Dryad, like, this is so sad. This is just so fucking sad. Like the Hunger Battle just sucks. It's so bad. I despise it. Like what, what are we supposed to do here? I guess we're supposed to play the Dryad and just hope for the best. I guess we can counter the blue spell. So my opponent has like the plus two plus one spell we can technically counter it. So yeah, so basically it would have happened if I would, I would have attacked with a Titan and then couldn't have done anything. <laughs> that would have been it. I would just attack with a, with, a, with a Titan for six and not even trigger the Malekith. Blue mana, I like this, I like this. Try it fixing my mana. Pog champ. I do not like this this at all. Yeah, I don't like it either. I mean, maybe the list is fine. It's just like I really, really don't like battlements. I just 
don't think it's very good. It just continues disappointing me every, every single time I play it. So I suspect that we will need to draw exactly a land this turn. An untapped land or a bounce land. Because we need to clear my opponent's board, or otherwise we're going to die next turn. Just have the gut feeling. The draw top list of Cavern, yeah, I know. It's hilarious. Like 10 options. Never like Battlelands when I'm still all for two Valakas with the Slayer Sun Home Package. Yeah, I mean, the problem is still the same, right? All right, and a bland or Stacy. Yeah, we're just dead. Like the 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 thing is gonna come back, and then it's gonna target this guy, and they swing for three. This is really sad. This is really sad. I hate losing to infect. All right, so we got a 3-2. Um, relics were incredibly underwhelming. This card is just not a main deck card. I think it's just awful. I, I'd rather just have steerings here that can find me amulets or bounce lands. We lost multiple times uh, because of not finding bounce lands. So like, even though steerings is just bad in this deck, I, I don't think it's it's worse than than relic. Like this card was just horrendous. The entire league that we played. Um, so I guess I'd rather just have two steerings, even though I know that they're gonna be bad a solid amount of the time. Like relic was just bad a hundred percent of the time. So I don't think this is a good card that we should have in our in our main deck. Um, Explore was medium. I mean, Explore was fine. I like I liked Explorers. The, the Explorers were okay. Thirty-one lands were also fine. Battlements seemed like horrible every time. Every time I had a Battlements, I just wished that it was a, a stronghold. I did miss that kill against the Adrasi deck, however. So, like stronghold wouldn't have allowed me to. But but even still, like that's what I'm saying. Like we would have been able to attack with that with in in that turn with the Titan. But I'm not even sure that it would have been correct because. Like, our Titan is now tapped, and we cannot use it to block. Of course, my opponent had the thing that made it so, like, they stole our Titan. But, like, if they didn't, like, the fact that a Titan cannot play both offense and defense is so important against the aggro decks. Why so many lands? Because we like lands. EE? -E? Why? EE in the main deck? I, I, did, I didn't miss EE in the main deck, it was fine. Adventurous Impulse is just unplayable, unfortunately. So this deck yesterday and played a little with it, I think it just feels like it's missing a 4 of Cantrip that finds your ramp Titan lands. Yeah, like once upon a time, yeah, it's it was good. Um, it's weird to have relics and no steerings to find them when you need them. No, I don't think that's the weird thing. The, the weird thing is just having a card that is just so bad in the main deck. Like, you're you're spending two mana to cantrip. Like, this is just a worse serum visions. Like, we don't really care about exiling graveyards. We don't really care about it. And I'd rather just spend one green mana to look at the top five cards and find the card that I care about. Instead of... Even if I whiff some amount of the time, like looking at five cards to find a, a bounce land or something versus like drawing a stupid, you know, spending two mana to draw a card. It's like, it's, it's just nonsense. Adventurous look at forward with the find, it could print that card, no problem. I don't know. Maybe it would be fine. I am not sure. Maybe it would be pretty powerful. I want to listen to cuts minus two explosions minus two lands for steering since play Slayer Sun Home. Yeah, you can do that. That is like honestly, that's this was like the worst card in the deck by so much. This was the worst. I guess this was the worst card in the deck. It was like the deck, and then this card at the very, very bottom, and this one very close to this one, and they were horrible every time.
Like I, I'm down to play in another league, but I, I like I, I don't like this. <laughs> I, I don't I kinda don't like this list. Um if you want to force a bigger on the cyber, I would I would cut probably like the fourth dispute or something. Do you know the Doom Switch? Is the Doom the Doom Switch is a it's a it's an MTG grinder, right? Is that who you're talking about? I mean I know I know them by name, but I don't know him. I don't know them. 126 lines is where I'm at, right? Nice Royal Egg, nice. I don't know if it's me or not, but I don't see how straight commune with nature that can find the land be broken in modern. It seems to be a perfectly reasonable card, maybe wrong. Yeah, no, it's it's not very good. Like two mana cantrips are just Oh, you mean commune yeah, so that's like You're talking about this card. No, this card is unplayable. This is not a playable card. Uh, the only times that it has seen play is in all-in combo decks, like the all-in druid deck. Uh, the all-in druid deck is literally the only time that I have seen commune with nature. Uh, no, it was the all-in druid deck, and then some er very early versions of a neo brand. So like all-in all-in all combo decks was like the only context where I saw it. It's it's really it's a, just it's not a good card. It's not playable. 126, that should be a health drug, yeah, for real. Carnal Steering's package is necessary because you can recoup the power of extra threat density, find your lands. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, but I don't like this way of going about it. Personally, again, it's just about it's just a matter of my playstyle. If, if this this clearly worked for Matt, right? <laughs> this clearly worked for Matt. So like I'm not saying that this list is bad or anything. I'm saying that I don't like it. Was bugging the main deck? Uh, I feel uneasy playing that main. It's, I mean, it's a fine thing to play in the main deck. It seems a little bit redundant. Like that's yet one more of the reasons why I don't like the relics. And I feel like we could be doing something a lot better instead of relics. Um, because like we already have bog and like how many effects that exile graveyards do you really need? Put the card that flip battlements in the next league? No, probably not. Move up to the board, add San Home and Garrison over turf, stronghold over battlements, vestige over the castle. Um, I think I'm just gonna run another league with the same list and kind of like get more of a feel for it. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you would like to check another uh, the next list, make sure that you use uh, the, the link in the description below and I will be back for another league. See you later.